Hello all. So today I'm going to show you how to create an animation like this. So this one is just a computer screen mock-up. This can be done in a lot of different ways, which we'll talk about at closer to the end. Um, I really like to use this to display web projects. I think it's a really classy and um, interactive way to show off your full skills. So let's jump in. Um, I'm going to open up Photoshop. I have a um, just a mock-up that I have downloaded off the internet. I've organized the file, the excuse me, the layers, um, just to be a little bit more organized to my preference. Um, I have a background layer. These are the mock-up layers. There's quite a few different things in there, and then I have um, an orange rectangle that is the width of the screen. So. Um, this is where our image will be clipped and this is where our animation will be happening. Um, so next up you're going to want to import whatever image it is that you're going to be animating. So you do this by going to File, Place Embedded. And then once that file is in place you're going to want to resize it to be the width of this rectangle. Um, I have already done that so I'm going to show that layer. So I have it is the width of the rectangle but it's like sticking way off down the page here. So that is what we will do next. Um, you need to make sure that image is on top of your orange rectangle. It doesn't have to be orange. It can just, be, of course, it can just be any color as long as it is the size that you want displayed. So you're going to right click and hit clipping mask. So now your image is clipped into the size of this particular computer screen. So next up, we are going to begin animating. So you're going to want to go to window and timeline and I am going to choose a different view. I'm going to hit this hamburger icon and hit convert to video timeline. So when you hit convert to video timeline this is what is automatically created. It is a five second animation but nothing is animating right now because we haven't set it. We haven't um, told it to. So um, depending on the length of your image that you're going to be animating Five seconds might be too short. I know for this image it is, it is going to be too short, so I'm going to go to 10 seconds. So if you look at this, it just um, I kind of hover over the end frame and drag it out, and it tells me when it's going to end. So we still got a few more seconds to go. Okay, so there we go. 10 seconds right there. Um, unfortunately, you do have to do this for each layer but we don't have too many layers, so it's not a problem. Okay, I skipped the computer layer and moved on to the background layer. So, like I was saying, you do have to um, stretch out each individual layer, and in this computer mock-up folder, there are quite a few layers, and I'm, I don't have time for that. So, I'm gonna just do a quick little cheat and work around that. So um, I'm just going to copy and paste it and you can do that by command V, excuse me, command C and then command V, but you want to make sure to paste it into place. So I'm just going to hit command C and then I'll show you how to paste, edit, paste, special, paste into place. So that would just be shift command V. And then I'm going to drag it down just till there's no gap between these two. So let's check that by dragging your, um, dragging this right over here and just scrolling it back and forth and there is no visible changes up here. So that means we're good to go. So that's just a quick kind of cheat or, or like work around to um, stretching out all of those layers. So the only layer that we are going to be animating is this top layer that is clipped right now. So I'm gonna hit, um, I'm gonna select that layer and then it's, you can see it's selected right here as well. I'm gonna hit this carrot icon and you have some options that come up. Transform, opacity, and style. Um, today we're just gonna be focusing on transform. So you want to make sure you are set here at zero seconds. Then you're gonna hit this little clock icon and if you'll see, a yellow diamond comes up. So you have just created your first keyframe. 
So I like to keep these really simple and just basically do two keyframes. So I'm going to scroll here to the end and hit this. You see, if you scroll away from that original keyframe, um, this is empty now instead of yellow. So we're going to create a keyframe just by clicking that. Super simple. If you want to toggle back and forth between your keyframes for any reason, you can do that right here. It won't jump on the screen, but you'll see that your red line has moved to this keyframe. So let's jump back down here to finish the animation. So make sure you're at this um, last, you're selected on this last keyframe. This is a very important step. Otherwise, the animation will not work. So to transform it all, you have to move the image a little bit. So I'm going to hit Command T. and I am going to move my image up. Um, I'm going to move it to the bottom. So the um, bottom of the screen will be the bottom of the website. So let's just give this a second to move up. took a little bit, but we are, that is where I would like the animation to end. So I want the first keyframe to begin at the top of the website. I want the last keyframe to be at the end of the website. So let's go back to the beginning, drag your little red line over there and hit the space bar and you have an animation. It's really as simple as that. If you would like to add any more keyframes, um, along the way, you can definitely do that. If you would like to focus on a certain area, um, that's a good way to do it. You could just hit a keyframe and it would pause there for a little bit. Um, but I just like to keep it simple, do one at the beginning and one at the end. So, I mean, this looks great to me. I think we are ready to render. Okay, so there are two different ways that you can render your animation. It kind of depends on where you're gonna be using it and what your needs are. So the first way is to hit this hamburger icon and hit render video. Okay, so this is where it's gonna be saving. Um, you can edit these things if you'd like. I usually don't unless I'm gonna be changing the size, um, but I just usually leave these things as they are. So you can go ahead and hit render and it'll take just a second. Um, and while that's rendering, I'm going to tell you some of the other ways that you can do this. So you could use this, you could easily do the same thing on an iPhone mock-up or a tablet mock-up or something like that, or like a, um, just a, like a much simpler wireframes mock-up. Just to go over the steps again, you need to have, um, an image, like a rectangle where your screen is going to be cropped then you're going to want to import your image to that size. Um, do a clipping mask, do your beginning and end keyframes, and there you go. It's as simple as that. You're good to go. So this is still rendering. It'll take just a second longer. This, in on my computer, this is the faster way to go, and it is the um, higher video quality. So uh, GIFs will import a significantly lower video quality. Um, so just depending on where you're using it, I would prefer to uh, render the video. Um, it just is better quality. So let's go take a look. This is the, this is the animation we just created. It looks great. Okay, so let's go back to Photoshop and I will show you another way. So that is an mp4 file. And now I'm going to show you how to do a GIF file. So go to File, Export, Save for Web. 
Um, and now my computer kind of slows down a lot when I do this, so I will just talk you through it. So you're going to go to Preset and GIF 128 Dithered. And then make sure, um, it is hidden right now because mine's still thinking about it, but make sure it's on looping forever. And uh, you can, I would just keep the size the same unless you're going to be posting it to like social media or something like that. Um, and then once you have selected these settings, GIF, animate forever, you can save it and export it. But I'm not going to do that because my computer might explode. So that is how you create this video. Thanks all.